بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله true islamic strength comes with iman it isn't the physical although the physical can help it can help you with the spiritual and mental it can help you with your confidence it can help you defend yourself your family your brothers and sisters in islam but however the true strength that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam alluded to or not alluded to but spoke very clearly about is the strength of iman and the strength of restraining oneself and not becoming angry and this is a characteristic that we all want to strive to our best to gain and strengthen ourselves within this uh with this righteous characteristic عن ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ليس الشديد بسرعه انما شديد الذي يملك نفسه عند الغضب متفق عليه ان حديثه البخاري المسلم فحديث ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه he narrated that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The strong man is not the good wrestler, but the strong man is he who controls himself when he's angry. So the strong man is not the good wrestler. That doesn't mean being wrestler having being a good wrestler is an excellent attribute to have. As a as a as a believer in and in, in, in the dunya. Because a strong wrestler can deal with people, especially when it comes to ground combat. However, the Prophet وسلم, let us know that there's a strength that's much greater than that, much more valuable than that. And that's the strength of one controlling themselves during anger. This shows us that the being a person who can control oneself, control their anger, who exhibits patience, who can be forgiving when people make mistakes and people commit sins and people even oppress them. That is the true, true uh, strong believer. That's the true strength. And that's not an easy characteristic because that means you may have the right to retaliate. You may have the right to gra gain your rights from that individual. But the fact that you were patient, the fact that you didn't become angry, the fact that you didn't ridicule them, the fact that you didn't take advantage of that situation, but instead you were calm and you remained patient. You didn't become angry. And you didn't even, maybe perhaps you didn't even respond. You show that you were better in that situation. You show that your iman allowed, guided you, and you did it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You restrained yourself. This is the characteristic of a mu'min. These are the characteristics that we want. So I want to encourage myself first and foremost, and my brothers and sisters in Islam secondly, to strive your best to exercise that and practice that sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to not be quick to respond in kind, meaning quick to retaliate when someone's oppressed you, or quick to harm someone when someone has harmed you, or quick to become angry when someone has angered you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.